I can't believe Disney is tricking people this way to spend more money at the parks. It's ridiculous. Florida man. Hello and welcome back to another Florida Man YouTube video. I'm Trevor. And I'm Jaden. We are here at the Florida Man headquarters to talk about something that's been on our mind for a little bit. Now you guys may have seen our last video on the implementation of Disney Genie Plus and when it first came out. But after some time, there's actually some new information about it. Not to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but Disney has used Genie Plus and Lightning Lane to optimize their finances at the expense of the guests. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You sound like a conspiracy theorist. I know, I do, but I have proof for this. So, in a recent conference call, Disney discussed their quarter four earnings, where they practically attributed the implementation of Disney Plus to more purchases of merchandise and food. With nearly one-third of park guests upgrading to Genie Plus, making it possible for them to spend less time waiting in line and more time enjoying attractions, entertainment, dining, and retail opportunities. So in layman's terms, Lightning Lane is making people spend more money on both merchandise and food. Wait a minute, so this was just a plot to make more money? <gasps> but wait a minute, Trevor, how does this make any sense? With the old Fast Pass system, less people were waiting in lines and they weren't walking around the park as much. You're true, but also the same thing is happening with the old FastPass system because you are still waiting for your time window. So while you're waiting for your time window, you're also spending money on food and merchandise. But with Lightning Lane, this has gone to the extreme. Now Disney posts their wait times for every attraction that's open on the My Disney Experience app. And then posting those wait times has a huge effect on how people move around the park. If you look on the My Disney Experience app and see that all the rides have 30 minutes or more wait, you're more enticed to buy Lightning Lane. But the question is, are those rides really a 30 minute wait? Basically, Disney is inflating wait times to then entice people to buy Lightning Lane, which is then going to encourage them to spend more money on food and merchandise. Basically, it's a ploy for Disney to make more money. So the Florida men, as expert researchers, are going to go to the Magic Kingdom today and test that theory. Now, we want to be clear that Disney's accuracy in predicting wait times shouldn't be questioned at all. I mean, they've had these attractions and these parks open for so long that they know how long a line is really going to be. We're going to head over to Magic Kingdom to see if the post-it wait times are accurate to the time that we wait in line. And if the time that we wait in line is less than the post-it wait times, that means that Disney is inflating their wait times. So, we will see you guys at the Magic Kingdom. So, here we are at the Tragic Kingdom to get to the bottom of this pyramid scheme. I think it's a nefarious plot, first of all. Despite the reservation system in place at Disney World, it is still very crowded here. I took a glance over at the My Disney Experience app and I noticed that Pirates of the Caribbean was at a 50 minute wait, which honestly for me is hard to believe. So let's go check it out and see if it is actually 50 minutes. To test our little science experiment, what we'll do is as soon as we get into the line, we'll use the stopwatch on our phone and as soon as we board the boat or vehicle, we'll stop that watch. And that's how we're going to gauge how long the wait's going to be. Alright, so I'm going to set my timer here. Boom, we started it right now. We just got in line. Alright guys, so we're 10 seconds in and I'm already tired and I want to get out of the line. That's my Disney Genie Plus. <laughs> So, like we said, the wait for Pirates of the Caribbean is 15 minutes. But I just look on the tip board, and with Lightning Lane, the earliest window I could get is 420. So that is three hours from now. So hypothetically, if I got Lightning Lane and got that window for 420, I'd have three hours to walk around the park and either choose another ride to do, or go to stores, restaurants, and spend money on merchandise. We are currently at 27 minutes, and the boats are right there. All right, so we're about aboard right now. We're at 30 minutes, so they were 20 minutes off. It was 50 minutes when we joined the line. I'm gonna pause it now. 30 minutes. Tell him, Carlos, don't be cheating. So even with a listed wait time of 50 minutes, we only waited 30, which is a 20 minute discrepancy in case if you guys weren't doing the math. So let me ask you, if you saw the wait time was 30 minutes, or if you saw the wait time was 50 minutes, which line would you prefer to go on? 
If this is the once or two times a year that you and your family come to Magic Kingdom and you see that there is a 50 minute wait for Pirates of the Caribbean rather than a 30, you're gonna be more inclined to go ahead and pay that $15 for each person to go and get the Lightning Lane and Genie Plus. Now the crappy thing is if you do get Lightning Lane, you'd still have to wait till 420 to go on the ride. Whereas if you just went there, 30 minutes, boom, we're off the ride already. And now we can go do another ride. And one more point about that, Pirates of the Caribbean isn't an open, opening day attraction, but it's been in this park for such a long time. Disney knows how long the wait times are. They do this every single day and they have to analyze it every single day to tell you what the wait times are. So I don't think it's a coincidence that it's 20 minutes ahead of what it was. That's a very big difference. Yeah. Now with all that being said, it's obvious that it seems like they're inflating the times to encourage you to get lightning light. Now, no scientific evaluation is complete with only one experiment. So we are going to try this same exact experiment with the Haunted Mansion. All right, so Haunted Mansion is a 55 minute wait. We just got in line, so we want to start the timer right now. So the line is pretty haunting, but we are moving pretty fast. Nice pun, Trevor. Thank you. We are now 27 minutes in, and we are now entering in to the Haunted Mansion into the stretching room, which isn't too bad. Yeah. 32 minutes. 32 minutes, and we're boarding the ride. And now we leave the Haunted Mansion. So the post-it wait time was 55 minutes, but as we were in line, it jumped up to 65, but we only waited 32. So that is a 23 minute difference, very comparable to Pirates of the Caribbean. And I would also like to say that with the Genie Plus Lightning Lane, the earliest window was seven o'clock. That's crazy. It's three o'clock, so that'll be four hours in the future you'd have to wait. And I'll be honest with you, as soon as you look at this line, it doesn't look like it's going to be 35 minutes. It actually does look like it'll be 65 minutes, but just be patient. You're not going to wait that 65 minutes. I can't believe Disney is tricking people this way to spend more money at the parks. It's ridiculous. Wow, Trevor, this is a really fun day at the Magic Kingdom. But these wait times are ridiculous. They're just so long. They just keep on going and going and they just don't stop. I know, like the wait for Jungle Cruise is like three years. Well, we should just get Genie Plus. Trevor, I just got Disney Plus right now and we have Jungle Cruise for a Fast Pass for 9 p.m. tonight. But what are we gonna do? Let's go buy food and merchandise. Okay. So, a lot to talk about here, a lot to unpack. Honestly, you'll be asking yourself now, Florida man, what's going on? How does this affect me? Honestly, this is a garbage video. That sketch was horrible. And honestly, yeah, I agree with you. But all in all, this does affect you and when you come down here to vacation. Listen, Disney knows how to move people around their parks. They know how to get people to spend money. This isn't a surprise. It just seems that once they got rid of Fast Passes and imp implemented Disney Genie, it's been exponentially worse oh yeah you know it was worse when they take away a free system that was really good and replace it with a bad system that you, that's not really good no and that you have to pay for and then afterwards you figure out that they're using this paid system to even make more money it's like getting kicked down and then getting kicked in the balls afterward now we want to know what you guys think do you disagree do you agree do you think it doesn't matter do you think it does matter please let us know in the comments below with all that being said don't let it ruin your vacation 
With all that being said, still have a good time. With all that being said, please subscribe. With all that being said, please like. And we hope you guys enjoyed this one. We will see you in the next Flutterman video. Bye. Goodbye. To optimize finances on both merchandise and food. Wait a minute. You sound like it's... <laughs> now, now we're kind of bashing Disney in this video. You know, oh, they're making people go buy more stuff. Here we are at Crystal Palace. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know like we're making fun of the lightning lane fact, but like... For $40, you can get some of the best food you'll ever have on your vacation. So, yeah. Oh my god. Wow, Trevor. This is a great day at the Med's Kingdom. But the... <laughs> Take one, folks. Wait, your fa his face was... <laughs> and going, and they just don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's go buy food and merchandise. Okay. You guys have a great day. Got it. <laughs>